All right. Good morning to Chantel and Lynn. Welcome so much to WALK. Good morning, Angela. Good We're happy morning. to be here. Yes, Absolutely. well, I am happy to have you. I hear that you are coming to share some great news of something that's very exciting that is happening in Atlanta and our surrounding area. So the name of this festival, what's the name of the festival and when and where is this happening? The festival is the East Point Peachtree International Film Festival, and it's happening in the beautiful city of East Point, Georgia, ah. six steps away from the world's busiest airport. Oh, my. <laughs> That's right. You are good at your job. I can see that. <laughs> just steps away from the airport. You're right. It yeah. is just steps away from the airport. So what can people expect when they attend this festival? Wow, we have a lot of exciting things. Um, we actually have four full pack days of different events, but but you can definitely expect you know great panels and workshops, and fantastic films. I mean, you know, over the past nineteen years, I would consider this year's group of films to be number one over over the past two decades. So we're excited about that. Okay, do we get to know what these films are that will be? That'll be a part of this festival. Well, we'll give you a little bit. We'll give you, okay. you know, a sneak peek. No, we <laughs> really have some some really, really nice films. We're actually uh, premiering um, one of Shaquille O'Neal's films. I mean, if a lot of people don't know, but he's been producing film for a long time. And he's doing a comedy. Uh, he's done a comedy. It's called A Car Lot. And we're premiering that. It stars DC Young Fly as well as uh, Jamal Willard. And, you know, really excited about that project. And we have a um, a filmmaker by the name of Mark Harris, an award-winning filmmaker who has two films in the festival this year. It's from Chicago. Um, one is called South Haven, and the other is called Black Cats. And we're screening both of those on late night, well, late evening screenings, uh, Friday, uh, November the 8th at 9 p.m. and Saturday, November the 9th at 9 p.m., so... Those okay. are kind of my three favorites, but we have a lot of great films. Okay. Okay. So tell me, how did this come about? How did East Point get to be the city to host this? <laughs> you want to take that or you want me to take that? <laughs> um, I'll, I'll take half and you do the other half. Okay. This was a wonderful introduction um, to Len by one of the producers that actually filmed in East Point, And he thought, you have to meet Lynn Gibson. Have you heard about Lynn Gibson in the Peachtree Village International Film Festival? And I was like, yeah, but I haven't really looked into it. And I'll let Lynn take it from there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so so our mutual friend, uh, producer, Michael Jabba, um, when he, uh, you know, he mentioned East Point, uh, coincidentally, I'm one of the producers on the project that she's talking about, right? That shot in East Point and I was out of town when they shot in East Point and mm -hmm. I was like wow that's interesting um you know in terms of the partnership with East Point and what he was doing with the film mm -hmm. and then we continued the conversation he was like well you may want to think about doing part of the festival in East Point and I was like why and he said well I'll tell you more so he just kept giving me little bits and pieces then finally he said okay you need to meet Chantel okay I think that you guys need to do something in East Point. And honestly, I mean, we sat down and we uh, we had lunch and the rest is history. We we saw that um, our visions were aligned in terms of what we would like to do, you know, in the arts and, you know, in terms of building a festival and the perfect place is East Point. And mm -hmm. that's where the collaboration began. And you so, know what, Angela? What's that? What Len didn't realize was that he was just right on time because with my experience over 25 years in tourism in different destinations throughout the world, it's always been a vision of mine to have an international film festival that represents and brings that bridge with tourism and film together. So mm -hmm. it's right on time for that with East Point being one of the newest CVBs for the state of Georgia, we were mm -hmm. just now building and going into our operations. So it was just the right time for it. 
That's great. So is there a particular reason why East Point was chosen? Is it because of its proximity to the airport? Or was there some other reason why it was East Point that was chosen? Well, I'll tell you, um, throughout my entire career, just as a filmmaker in general, I've always looked to do things that's that's different, right, than the norm. And, you know, my, my thing was, um, what can we do different with the festival going into the second decade, right? So, or after this, even going in <laughs> after 20 years. But with that being said, when we were looking at what makes the festival different, what can we do different? And when the whole idea of having the festival in East Point came about, mm -hmm. it was like, ding, 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 you know, that was it. You know, the fact that one, there wasn't a festival in East Point, Two, just what East Point represents, you know, um, the legacy of East Point, you know, the history of East Point. And then obviously, you know, with it's, you know, being where the world meets, you know, being right there next to the airport, it's it just screamed, OK, let's take this thing international. Let's grow it. Let's build it. And uh, it just made a lot of sense. It absolutely so made sense. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, Angela. It absolutely made sense. And especially we didn't have to start from scratch. We didn't have to reinvent a wheel and start up with a whole brand new film festival. We walked into something that was already established. Len has been doing this for 19 years in the metro Atlanta area, has the vast experience in film production events and the reach that he has, we saw was amazing. And more importantly, he mirrored our brand and we shared in the same vision for what we wanted the film festival to ultimately be. So it really just made sense. Wow. Well, that's great. Absolutely. So when did film festival take place? Uh, you said when, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Sure. It's uh, November the 7th through the 10th. November the 7th through the 10th. Okay. And when you were putting together the festival, were you looking for particular types of films that you wanted to highlight or just um, any films or what what was the criteria for selecting films that will be a part of the festival? Well, you know, I, I've learned this um, being in distribution for a number of years. It's not about what I personally like. It's mm -hmm. what our audience likes, right? Mm -hmm. So we look at our audience. Our audience is pretty vast, you know, in terms of the age range, you know, the diversity of our audience. So we try not to put people in a box. We say, submit your film, you know, as long as it, you know, it, it has the proper formatting to it and it's technically sound, submit it, we'll look at it and we'll see if it makes sense. So for us, it's all types of films. You may, you may see a foreign language film, you may see an animation, you may see anime or you may see an inspirational documentary. So it's all over the place, but it's it's that way because it has to represent our audience. OK. OK. So where in East Point will this take place? Where will the festival take place? Well, that was another criteria for us partnering with um, the Peachtree Village International Film Festival. It gave us the opportunity to showcase the city of East Point and its rich cultural heritage and all of the venues and the hospitality uh, spots within the city. And of course, our 20 branded hotels that we represent here at the East Point Convention and Visitors Bureau. So mm -hmm. with that being said, we'll be throughout the city at different times with the workshops and the screenings will be hosted at the Four Points by Sheraton, okay. also the Sinesta Hotel, which is on Virginia Avenue mm -hmm. and Four Points by Sheraton off of Camp Creek, which we all know Camp Creek, the parkway headed straight to the airport. Yes. And Poor Lounge, which is in downtown East Point. And then of course the beautiful Black Art in America, which is the art gallery that recently was featured in Forbes magazine. So it really gives us a chance to showcase the city and all of its offerings. That is an awesome opportunity to highlight East Point. I'm sure that um, uh, the state, the state of Georgia would be very proud to know that, you know, its city is being highlighted in this way. Well, so speaking, how can people attend? Do they have to purchase tickets for this? How does one attend this film festival and how does one enter if they want to be in it, say, next year? Oh, absolutely. They can um, you can get tickets on our website. 
It's just www.epiff.org, epiff.org. Okay. And, and, you know, in terms of submissions, um, we began taking submissions literally right after the festival. So in December, the submission link will be up and we'll take submissions up until June of next year of 25. So always looking for great films, filmmakers to submit you know, their content, their ideas, so that we can uh, feature them in a the festival. Nice. So do you do just films or do you do documentaries or any other things like that? N not only do we do documentaries, we do music videos and we do commercials and web really? series as well, as well as podcasts. So as media okay. changes, we change with it. Okay. And we also have a screenplay competition in the midst of the festival as well. You and I need to talk then. I need to talk <laughs> to you when our interview wraps up because I, I have something that um, I've been working on in my head. I've been doing it in my head. And I'm like, okay, you got to put, you got to start doing this, Angela. But I don't know how to get started. You know, I know what I want and what I want to do, but I don't know quite how to get started. So that's what we're um, here think, for. <laughs> yeah. So I think you might be able to help me. Well, I'm very excited to hear about this. And I know that the rest of the city is going to be very excited to hear about this festival that's coming up next month. Um, that's just what, a little over a week away. Yeah, oh, so we're we're 10 days away. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not too far away. And hopefully the weather will be good. You know, Atlanta has such the best weather. Yeah. So hopefully the weather will be good for this and people will be, you know, eager to come out. How much are the ticket prices? Um, you know what? The ticket ranges from free ticket okay. <laughs> all the way up to a VIP ticket, which is about two six two fifty um okay. for the entire weekend. So the tickets okay. are very reasonable. Um, short films are five dollars to to come, you know, the, in terms of the cost, and feature films are ten dollars. So very very reasonable. Okay, give us the name of that website again, so that people can, if they're interested in purchasing tickets, they can go. Or if you have a number that you'd like to share for people to um, to check that out as well. Sure, they can just go to epiff.org, epiff.org. And that's epiff. Angela, you touched on something really important um, just now that I wanted to go back to when you talked about the state and Georgia being proud of this happening. I just wanted to share that a lot of people may not know that East Point is already a camera ready city designated by the state of Georgia. What? And we have filmed hundreds of films in East Point were also footsteps away to Tyler Perry Studios. So if you drive yeah. it on the highway, you see the exit is East Point Tyler yeah, Perry Studios. That's right. So we have filmed things such as Ozark, Stranger Things, Hidden Figures, Black Panther, you name it. We have so many filming locations right within the city. So we're already known as that. And just last month, we were featured in Toronto, Canada, at the Toronto International Film Festival, which is TIFF, as the city representing Georgia. We traveled along with Georgia Entertainment and we were the feature city in, in Toronto. So wow. when you say that we're international and we're where the world meets, it is absolutely so in all ways as we represent the state of Georgia. And that wait. is awesome. I did not know that. Oh, that yeah. is really awesome. I didn't know all those awesome things about East Point. I live way on the north side, way in Gwinnett. So I didn't know all of that about East Point. That's so why that you need to visit eastpoint.org. Yes. <laughs> eastpoint.org. You got it. I will. I yeah. will. And when I'm ready for my bucket list trip to Egypt, I'm going to call you, Chantel. That's where I'm just dying to go. Since I know you're all about travel, I will be looking you up for sure. Well, thank you so much, both of you, Lane Gibson and also Chantel Ross Fence Francois. Did I say that right, Francois? Francois, yeah. That's right, okay. Thank you so much for joining us, joining us this morning on WAOK -OK and sharing the information about the film festival. This sounds like a really exciting event, especially for a place like this. And we know that there are so many people who are out there and into the industry, the music industry with the music videos and the film and all that that we have going on here, that it has really put the state of Georgia on the map for that kind of entertainment. So I'm sure that this event will just further that, you know, that even more people will 
people open their eyes to kind of what's going on here in Atlanta and also in East Point, which is the main hub for this event. So thank you so much for sharing with us today. It was a delight to talk to both of you. And we'll be, I guess I'll see you at the film festival, huh? Yes, we can. Yes. <laughs> I certainly plan to get my ticket. So thank you so much for joining me. And I'm going to wrap the interview up. Okay. Thank you, Angela. Thank you. Thank you. you.